Hey, hey, students of Idiot Tuition. How are you? Everybody's good? All right, this is Ben Ong here. We will start probably at 4 p.m. All right, maybe at this moment, you can play around with the app a little bit or this application, the Zoom app. So can you look for a sign whereby there's this emoji, a good sign, or maybe a high five? All right, if you can hear me, probably you can give me a good sign or a high five. Or wave your hands. Oh, very good. Subnet, uh, Jerick, Jer Jerick. Yes, yes. Wow, very good, Chloe. Thank you, everybody. Yes, hi, Celeste Ang. Okay. Wow, yes, more Chloe. Oh, there's two Chloe, is it? Oh. All right. Oh, yes, Hush. See you. All right, very good, very good. Everybody is early. Very, very good. Everybody want to learn? Yes. Okay, so today actually we'll be doing quite a simple, really, simple, a little bit, lah, huh? simple topic, all right, is talking about fractions. And the main thing about fractions down here, we are using something called branching method. Some of your school really teaches this method as good, all right, let me just emphasize a little bit because there is uh, the primary five and the primary six students here. So maybe the P5 student haven't learned, let's teach it to them, all right, the P6. So P6, you can take it as a revision. Good for you. Nothing wrong with learning another new method. Okay. Okay. As you can see, I have kind of uh, muted everybody. So in any case, if you have a question, right, you can actually go to the chat portion. Ah, the chat portion. And you can actually chat with me privately. You can say, sure, what is happening? Something like that. All right. Or sometimes if I can ask the answer, right, I say, hey, uh, one apple is $2. Two apples is how much? Uh, then some of you say, ah, oh, yes, I know the answer. Then maybe you can type the word $4. Can you see this? All right, so you can actually chat with me privately. Yeah, so uh, I'll request all of your videos. Oh, hello. Yes, I see you. Uh, Aya, is it? Aya. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce your name properly. Yes, yes, hi. Yes, Jared Ho. Yes, hi. Yes, yes, I can see you. All right, you can chat with me privately. So sometimes if I ask a question, one apple, two dollars, two apples, four dollars. Simple question like this, you can actually drop me an answer. All right. Okay, Ken, Ken, Ken. Thank you so much. You are my favorite teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for supporting. Edit, tuition. Okay. All right, we'll wait for a little bit more while. Let's say two more minutes. Let's try to start on time. Okay, we don't want, you know, uh, later people saying that uh, the time is 4 o'clock. Well, how come I come in at 4 o'clock? Teacher really started. Not very good, right? Yeah, 88 tuition is the best. Thank you. I would think so too. All right, if not, I would not be working down here. <laughs> All right, good job, Jarek Ho. Okay, so don't worry. You can just uh, constantly, hi, Celeste Ang. Hi, hi to you too. Okay, so many of you are 88 tuition students, right? Yeah, I'm thinking of a name, you know. What, what do we call us? Huh? All right, because last time I was studying, and when I was studying, I'm studying in uh, Fairfield Methodist, right? Uh, anyone of you in Fairfield? FMSS or FMPS, Fairfield Methodist Primary School? Anyone down here? Okay, anyway, we call ourselves Fessians, you see? So there's a special name, you know? Every school got a special name. Idiot tuition, what do you think? Should we have a special name also? I don't know. Anyone got any recommendation? Yeah, okay. If you have some recommendation, actually, you can just email me. Lah, huh? Idiot tuitioners. <laughs> Ken, quite creative. Ken, all right. Hey, I'm not creative. Don't say that, last less. All right. There are some people who are, you know, actually, you, you will have some kind of talent sometimes. All right. It's just that you have to go and source for it. All right. Branson, yeah, I don't, I don't have to see you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, yes. Okay, the time now is ah 4.29. I want to start already. One more minute. One more minute. 88 us. Oh, us ah. Later people say 88 uh, like that. Then how? Not nice, right? Yeah. So maybe you all can uh, keep on thinking of, uh, you know, a nice name for us all. All right. What la? Wow. James Lee. You are very Chinese. <laughs> all right. 4.30 already. Come. 88 tuitionist. Ooh, nice. Sounds very good. Okay, okay, let's start lesson already. Okay, no more talking. Okay, any as as I say, you if you want, you can have a question and all this, you can just drop me a private chat. All right, when I see it, I'll reply to you. Idiot mess messes. Wow, very cheap. But it's okay, I like it also. <laughs> okay, so for those who are new, right? For those who are new, let me just give you a heads up. 
Okay, so what is happening is uh, you are looking at this page now. It's an introduction, all right, for the upper primary mathematics. Uh, I need you to do something for me first, all right. The next thing you need to help me do is to go on to the, uh, wait, uh, let me click, uh, okay, here. All right, this is an example. It's like for secondary one, right? Can you please bring your mouse, all right, your mouse cursor to the top part of your screen, all right? Bring your mouse cursor to the top part of your screen, all right? Then you click on one of this icon, and down here there's a drop down list called side by side mode. Can you please click on the side by side mode? All right, after you click on the side by side mode, right, what will happen is that you will see my face on the right hand side. I think that would be a little bit neater. So on the left hand side, I'm doing some presentation. On the right hand side, you can see my, my face. All right, so if you can, please click on the side by side uh, drop down list. All right, just click on the side by side. All right, if you cannot find, if you're looking at, the, at, looking at it from the handphone, it's perfectly okay. Don't worry so much about it. All right, I just want to be neat now. You know me. All right, I like to, be, I like to have a system in mind. All right, so everything has to be a little bit neat. The video of me has to be on the right-hand side and all this. Okay? Okay, the next thing I need you to do, right, after clicking on the side-by-side, -side, okay, use your mouse cursor. Go to the top right portion. All right, go to our top right portion and click on the what? Do you see this? Do you see the speaker view? All right, can you see the word speaker view on the top right corner? All right, so click it on the speaker view. All right, after you click on the speaker view, what happened? Yes, you can only see me. Can? Yes, yeah, some of you like it. Uh, I like it when normal. Okay, then that's okay. Don't worry. It's your preference. Don't worry about it too much. All right, if you never uh, understand what I said just now, it's perfectly normal also. All right, don't worry about it too much. It's not some crisis. All right, my boss always say, it's not a crisis. Yeah, nothing is a crisis. All right. We are humans. We learn how to manage. Can? All right. So this is the simple, simple introduction. Okay. Let's go into the main lesson for today. Okay. Uh, our main lesson for today is talking about something called fraction. Okay. So let's go. Okay. So what do you need? Huh? What do you need? Can I suggest you to, number one, have your what? At least have your calculator beside you, Can? Huh? Right, have your calculator beside you. Okay. Not only your calculator, lah, please lah, have the worksheet here now. Sure, I see another video of your room. Um okay, this is live. Hi. Yeah, this is really live, and this is yeah, my room. All right, can you see? Okay, so this is live. Uh, no more. Okay, thanks, James. All right. So as I say, I need something called the notebook or the exercise book, right? If you can if you can have it, it's great. Lah. All right, this notebook, something like that. Right, yeah, I think now very hard to go into popular bookshop, right? So, never mind lah. Just take out any exercise book. Your school exercise book also can. Can? All right, so if you think that something is important, right? Something that you need to remember one, write it inside the exercise book, <laughs> right? Okay, moving on. Yes, your worksheet, please. Come on, print out your worksheet, can not? If you don't have your worksheet, then how to teach you, right? Huh? All right, then you can say that, okay, you are much more high-tech, you have it inside your iPad, then okay, lo, okay. Then in terms of the working, if I'm doing the working, you can actually do it with me inside your exercise book. Can? I don't have a printer. Totally understand. All right, I understand. It's okay. It's okay. All right, important thing is, the next important thing is, if you can, just attend the lesson, and from down there, you learn something. All right, and important things, just write inside your exercise book will do. Can? All right, if you don't have a printer, cannot print out the worksheet, don't worry about it too much. Not a big, not a big issue. Okay, the next thing is, yes, yeah, stationary, come on. Have some pen, pencil, colored pens, and all this. Yada, yada, yada. And yes, calculator. Okay, this is my favorite calculator. This is my girlfriend. Okay, uh, this is my <laughs> second girlfriend. Shh, don't tell my wife. This one, also, eh, sure, got three calculator. Yeah, I know. Very kiasu one. How come? Because some students, right, they use the sharp calculator. Some students, they use the Casio calculator. So when I use the Casio calculator, they say, hey, sure, I use the sharp calculator. How come you never teach the sharp calculator? Correct or not? So it's best to have both of them. All right? So if you have the calculator, bring it with you. You can learn to press your calculator with me also. And lastly, I need your what? I need your full attention and your focus. Eyes on me. All right? Keep your eyes on me. Can? Okay. So let's go into today's lesson. Huh? Let's go, let's go. Okay, so when we talk about something called branching method, right, it's actually linked to what? It's actually linked to something called fraction. Huh? And do you know that fraction, right, is actually the key foundation or not? All right, this is super, superly important. How come? Because from fraction, right, you can actually link to something called ratio. 
From fraction, you can actually link to something called decimals. From fraction, you can actually link to something called percentage. And what happened? And obviously, if from fraction, you can link to these three, right? It simply means that it can link back. Means ratio back to fraction, decimal back to fraction, percentage back to fraction. So if your fraction is super, 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 how many super did I say? Anyone caught how many I say? No, no, oh, yo, all of you, the math got problem. Everybody say three, 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 three. Hey, 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 listen to me again. Listen again to me. All right. A uh, fraction is super, super, super. How many super did I say? Yes, Celeste, four is the right answer. Correct. All right. So total got four super is super, 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 super important. All right. So once you can get your fraction out, right, your ratio, decimal, and percentage, somebody did say just now, big four. Yes. Means that you actually attended the lesson. Big four. All right. These big four are actually talking about fraction, ratio, decimal, and percentage. Once you can see the interlink, right, once you can see the interlink, what happened? Whoa. This portion like that is a very strong uh, hand sign. You know that. All right. Somebody can step on this, this pump down here. All right. And that person will not fall off. So if you interlink them, if you know them very well, hold them together like this, I tell you, your math will be very, very strong. All right? Trust me on that. Okay, so when we talk about branching method, right, there are some keywords to take a look at. So look at the word of the remainder. Sometimes they say what? Two-third of the remainder. Or they say half of the rest. All right? So this type of phrase, right, when it comes out, right, you will know that it's linked to something called branching method. Come, let's take a look at the first part of the question. All right. Oh, do you know who is Pete? Brad Pete. Brad, he makes, he bought bread. Okay, never mind. That's not important. The important thing is how to answer this question. Okay, so I'm going to show you some approach on this. Can? Okay, so the first approach is obviously the model method, la, the one that you learn in school. So what happened is, hey, check this out. Pete bought 120 kg of bread. Wow, that's a lot of bread. Why? Uh, COVID-19. All right, had to stock up a bit. Uh. All right, so 120 kg of bread, this is considered the total. All right, this is the total amount of bread that he bought. Once you get the total, right, it's actually very simple. This question is very simple. Why? Because the total is given. Later, later, right, question three and onwards, right, you see that oh, the total is missing. When the total is missing, ah, that comes the challenge for this type of question. But again, don't worry. All right, it's a problem sums. We solve them. No problem one. Okay, so what do you have? He used two-thirds of the bread to make sandwiches. Ah, the first fraction comes out already. Okay, the first fraction down here, two-thirds. So the two represents what? The two actually represents the use. All right, he used two out of three parts. So the three represents the what? It represents the bread, right? No total draw model. Wow, really, man, I think you're my favorite student. All right, ah, uh, yeah. Right, so no, no, no total right draw model, but this one the total is given, but still we still draw lah, huh? Because why we have to use something called the model approach uh, just to make people happy. Can so he used two out of three of the bread, so three right represents the total right total bread. Can you see or not? Okay, uh? so what happens here? I will use my model to draw. So two out of three means what? Out of three boxes, out of three boxes like that. Okay, I shade what? I shade two. I shade two. All right, I shade two like that. This is called two out of three. Okay, so two out of three is used to make what? This portion is used to make sandwiches. Huh? All right, this portion is used to make sandwiches. Okay, so I'm going to write sandwich down here. Model, mod this is called the model approach. Huh? Okay, then, then, then what happened? The remainder. Eh, how much of the remainder? One eighth of the remainder. Ah. One eighth of the remainder. Eh, where's the remainder? Sure. It's actually this portion here. All right? This portion here, the yellow color is called the remainder. So usually, right, I will use another one. I will use another model to model downwards like that. All right? I'm talking about this portion here. This is called the remainder portion. Okay? So this is the remainder portion. What happened? Question say one eight leh. Hey, what's the meaning of one eight? You have to cut the remaining portion into eight parts. So let's go. Cut la chop chili chop. Chop chili chop. Cut. 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 Not enough. Cut some more. Cut some more. Cut some more. 
Cut some out. Wow, so small. Can you see not? Enough. Yes. So total, right? Total got eight smaller parts. Can we call these parts? So the green color, we call it units. Lah. So the green color got total got three units. The yellow got eight small parts. So can you see something or not? Can you see something or not? Can you see that the eight small parts is equal to one green unit? Eight small parts is equal to one green unit. Can you see that? Yes, and one of it, right? One of the yellow, right? One of it, ah, here. Is given to who? Is given to the, the lady. Angel. Angelina. All right, it's given to Angel. Okay? So now the question says, hey, how much bread had he left? Ah? Ah, so down here, what is the clue? What is the only number you have? You have 120 kg. Hey, sure. Where is the 120? 120 is the total, right? Total means this entire thing from here to here is 120. Can you see it or not? This is the total. So total, you must compare with total. Lah. Okay, okay. Ah, but if you see, right, eight small yellow parts equal to one green unit, right? All right, so you can actually, right, actually present in such a way that this green unit can be cut into eight smaller parts also. Yeah, all right. That's called a model approach whereby you have to try to make everybody of the same size. This green unit must cut into eight small parts also. All right, so you chop, chili, chop. Uh. Chop, chili, chop. Uh. Yes. And total got how many parts? Oh, down here got eight small parts. Down here got eight small parts. Down here got eight small parts. So eight times three is 24 what? We call it 24 parts. And 24 parts is the what? Total. Total always compare with total. So 24 parts is equal to total is 120 kg. Can you see the link? Total compare with total, nothing wrong. Okay? So go and find why is one part first. Okay, I know that some of you are fast. You already give me the answer as 35 kg already. Good job, man. All right, you are very, very fast. All right, but let me just go through the steps because there are students who are also learning. All right, so once we have 24 parts, it's 120 kg. I always look for the one. Look for one part first. So one part, hey, hey, please show the working. 120 kg, you must divide by 24. Show this step, please. All right, show this step. It's important to show this step. Okay? Okay, so what happened? Press your calculator, la, right? P5, P6 can press calculator already. Or if you can, mental sum a bit. Five, five, five. Yes, a lot of people say five. <laughs> one part is five. Okay, so one part is five kg. So once you get one part, now you can answer the question already. Okay, what is the question talking about? Let's take a look. Question is talking, how much bread had he left? Remember that this portion, let me show you my laser pointer. Huh? Nice or not? Nice, right? I know. So this portion of the portion, right? These two units is used to what? These two units, right? Two green units, 16 yellow parts is used to make sandwiches ready. So the remaining is what? Oh, down here, one yellow part is given to Angel. Angel. So there's a remainder of seven parts. Can you see not? So once you can see that there's a remaining of seven parts, right? That is actually your answer, sweetie. You know? So one part is five kg. Seven parts will be five kg times seven. And therefore, drum roll trrr, ching, is 35 kg. Can you see that? Yeah? All right. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Kai, uh, Raka. All right. Many of you are giving me the correct answer. Beautiful. All right. This is very, very, very simple, right? Yes? So this is called a model approach whereby you're supposed to cut the units into different parts. And the different parts must be of the same size so that you can compare with the total. Can I show you one more method? Just one more method. Bear with me. All right, this one method, right, is actually from the, the lesson, all right? I always use this method a lot also, all right? So some of you will know this method, all right? It's called what? <laughs> KPO. What does KPO stand for? All right, it stands for KPO, la. you know it's KPO? <laughs> all right, KPO means if you don't know, you keep asking, all right? If you don't know, keep asking, keep looking for the clues. KPO, yes, correct. KPO plus what? I call this E to M. Anyone know what is E to M? Anyone? You can type. Uh, those who attend the lesson. English to math, Celine. Whoa, steady, Celine. All right, English to math. Wow, that means all of you are listening and looking through the video. I'm so, I'm so touched, you know. Seriously. All right, thank you. Thank you for actually going through the videos and all this. It's very, very 
uh, important to know that you are actually trying also. Okay, let's take a look. Uh. So the first thing, Pete got 120 kg of bread. Then you look, look at the first line. He used two-thirds of the bread. Okay, so I use, uh, use, English, uh, use. Two-thirds means two-thirds. Off. What does the off mean? Off actually means what? Off actually means multiply. Alright, multiply. So two-thirds off. Every time you see the word off, it means times. So two-thirds, the fraction, off times the bread. What is the bread? The bread here is talking about the total bread. The total bread is 120 kg. Can you see not? So you successfully, right, translate the English. He used two-thirds of the bread to mathematics. Used two-thirds off means times 120 kg. Yes, 80, 80, 80 kg. A lot of people say 80. Very good. So 80 kg is what? Used to what? Make what? The question say sandwiches. Then what happened? Here you can activate your KPO. KPO means what? Go and find out more information. I got 120 kg of bread. I make sandwiches. 80 kg worth of sandwiches. So I KPO, I go and what? Find out more information. 120 minus 80 is what? 40 kg. So what is 40 kg? 40 kg is considered the remainder. Correct or not? So this one is use KPO. La. You can just go and find out more information. Then the sentence say what? He gave one eight of the remainder. Right down here, right? he said one eight of the remainder. Once again, one eight. One eight is a fraction, right? Never mind. English to math. What's the meaning of off? Off means times. So one eight times. What's the remainder? Ne? The remainder is 40 kg really what? Ne? 40 kg la. Is given to who? The wife. Angel. Alright. So what's one eight times 40 is 5 kg. Okay? Then you use your KPO again. How much is left? Oh, uh, in the beginning, I got 120 kg. I used 80 kg to make sandwiches. I'm left with 40 kg. 40 kg, I still have to give 5 kg to my wife, Angel. And therefore, I'm left with 35 kg. Can you see it? So again, AA hey, students, there's a lot of method. There's really a lot of method to get to the answer. One is the model approach. Another one, you can use this from English to mathematics. And the step-by-step, -step, you show it very clearly. Nothing will go wrong. One. Yes, yes. Now that you know, uh, James. All right. So this is called the what? This is actually called the model approach. And also, the, on the right-hand side, it's called the what? The KPO plus E to M. Uh. But don't, don't tell your teacher KPO. Uh. Your teacher don't understand also. Huh? Only between you and me. Idiot, tuition, niece. Yeah. Must you think of the correct name? Uh. Can? Okay, come. So let's go into branching. I haven't gone into branching yet. So I want to talk about something called branching to see whether is it useful to you or not. If you think it's useful, learn to use the branching because the branching you can use a lot, a lot of what? A lot of, uh, can use uh, for a lot, a lot of questions. Okay? Okay, so down here. Um, this one, same question. Okay, let me just show you the branching method. Can? Okay. So what happens here is, I will start off with the total. If I have a total down here, I will start off with it. Okay? So this green box uh, down here is like the total. Okay? <laughs> school teacher don't watch idiot tuition. I totally understand. If they are watching me, means that your school, um, I don't know. Eh? <laughs> that would be so weird, right? Imagine your teacher watching another teacher teaching. No lah. Every teacher, they have their own style. Alright? So if you think that this style is, uh, of teaching is good for you, stick on, man. Stay on with us. Edit tuition. Okay? Alright, so down here, we start off with the total down here. Do we know the total? In this case, yes, we know the total. Total is given as 120 kg. Sometimes I can call this one hole. Alright, this is like one hole. One hole means like one big block of uh, total. Well, right, one, one big unit. Okay, thank you, James. Uh, so down here, he used two-thirds of the bread to what? To make sandwiches. Alright, so the two-thirds comes from where? This two-third, right, comes from the total. All right, just bear with me. Listen to this branching method. If you like it, come on, use it. All right, you will rule the world, man. All right, so now here. Here, two-third. So two-third of the bread. So this two-third is actually from the total, 120 kg. And this two-third is used to make something called sandwiches. Is that okay? Okay, so then you have, to, you have to tell me another side of the story. What's the other side of the story? 
If two out of three parts, right? If two out of three parts is used to make sandwiches. So what is the other side of the story? You have to know the other part, which is the remainder is considered a one third. This is called the remainder. All right. Yes. Thank you. A lot of them writing one third is the remainder. So out of three parts, two is for sandwich. One is the remainder. Just write it in as this. So from one total, you branch into two smaller branch. All right. So look at the next statement. The next statement is talking about what? He gave one eight of the remainder. This one eight comes from where? This one eight comes from the remainder line. All right. This one eight comes from the remainder branch. So down here, branch out again. One eight. All right. So the one eight must come out from the remainder branch. And this one is given to Angel Angelina. Okay, then what is the other side of the story? Ah, one out of eight parts is given to Angel. That means there is a, yes, thank you. There is a seven over eight. All right, seven over eight, this is called what? This is called left. Okay? So once you get to here, then you can actually, you can actually say that what? You can say that, okay, let me draw a line here, right, to do a little small conclusion. Okay? So question is asking, how much, right? How much bread had he left? So you're actually looking for what? You're actually looking for this portion of the, you're actually looking at this portion of the, um, this portion, okay? You're actually looking at this portion of the line here. Okay, you're looking for the left one, eh? Can you see? Can you see my yellow color, this portion? Yes, all right. So you're actually looking for the left, which belongs to here. Okay, and this seven over eight left, it belongs to the one third remainder, which belongs to the 120 kg. So remember, uh, from here to here, you have to do a multiplication. So you start off by saying, okay, 120 kg times what? Times the one third, times the what? Times the 70, seven over eight. And do you know that you get the answer immediately? Don't believe, press your calculator with me. Come. 120 times one over three times seven over eight. Answer is, can you see? 35 kg, immediately. So this branching method, it kind of lists out the storyline. It tells you, okay, what happened in the center, what happened at the end. And if the question is looking for the left, no problem. I just want this particular yellow portion. All right. And from the left towards the right, you just make a multiply throughout. All right. That would be the faster method. All right. Some of you say you don't understand. Yes, it's perfectly, uh, it's perfectly understandable. Because again, this is a, a shortcut in a way. All right, a shortcut into answering the, uh, this our question. All right, so if you can understand, right, that would be good. All right, if you don't understand, don't worry. As I say, there's other methods, right? Don't, don't have to stick to the branching method. You can use your model diagram. You can use the KPO and the E2M. All right, but this method for branching, right, is in, in a way, it's a faster method whereby you, what, you list out the possibility. So first of all, you talk about what? You talk about the total here. Can you see my laser? The total you split into what? Two portion, two branch. All right. Why do you split? Because the question says so. The question says that two thirds of the bread, right? Means two thirds of the total. So one of the branch is two thirds, which represent the sandwiches. Eh? Two out of three. There's a remainder one third. Yes. The remainder one third is called the remainder la the. All right. And the next line they say what? The next line they say that I gave one eighth of the remainder to Angelina. All right. So one eighth is here. And this one eight comes from the, the remainder. Eh? But if there's only one over eight, then where is the remainder seven over eight? Yes, that's called the left law. Can you see? So in a way, you are listing out the story in a left to right uh, direction. Okay? Just to give you a clearer view. All right? Oh, some of you say that the modern method is faster. Yeah, yeah. All right. Sometimes if you draw the model nicely and the fraction given to you, the teacher gives you such a nice fraction for you to cut, right? then okay. But you know that your teacher can be quite nasty sometimes, right? So they'll give you a very, very challenging fraction. Very difficult to cut one. If you cannot cut, then how? Correct. Then you start to scratch your head. Hey, teacher, cannot cut. All right. If you cannot cut, what happened? Then you'll be wasting time trying to draw a lot of model. Hey, take a ruler to draw. Hey, teacher, must use ruler to draw or not? Hey, teacher, my this one is one big, one small. The big does it means that it is a bigger number or not? Actually, all this, right, is about knowing what is happening in your model, all right? So, 
Again, as I say, you might like this method, you might not like it, you might think that it's faster. Again, it really depends on the question. Okay? All right. So let's talk about the next question here. Okay? So what do you have here? Okay, Will Smith. <laughs> do you know who is Will Smith? Okay, never mind, not important. Will Smith's salary was 3,200. Hey, again, sure, this is the what? All right, this one, 3,002 is the what? It is the total. Yes, got total means what? Got total means good, easy. Don't have to think so much. Right? Okay, let's take a look. Huh? Okay, let's take a look at the question. What did the question say? Oh, all right, a lot of faces come out with it. Huh? <laughs> okay, so um, uh, students whose faces come out, don't distract other people. Huh? Okay, I can see a thumbs up. Good. Okay, I know who is Will Smith. I, I, I'm glad you know, but that's not an important question here. No marks will be given. Okay, so Will Smith, right, his monthly salary is 3002 Every month, huh, he will give one-eighth of his salary to his parents and pay $600 for his car renter. So again, again, since we are talking about branching matter, right, to see if you can adapt to this matter or not. Okay, we... We what? We will use the branching method. So once we have the total here, we can use the total. Okay, this is like the total box. And we know, we know that the total, thank you, question say is 3,200. This is considered like one whole, uh, one full unit. The total is given, thank you. So here, he will give what? One eighth of the salary, you know. All right, one eighth of the salary means here, one eighth of it will give to his papa, mama. All right, that's called parents. Lah. Okay? So one out of eight parts is given to the parents. And, and not only that, look, $600 is for car renter. So the $600 also comes from here. Can you see that? And what is the third line down here? After giving to the parents, after spending money on the car renter, what is that one called? It's called the remaining. Lah. All right, this part is called the remaining. Hey, but sure, what is the remaining? All right, what is the remaining? Down here, right, you can do something called what? Like, you can try to incorporate a little bit of English to math, a little bit of KPO into here. Okay? So, 1-8 is given to the parents. Can we go and find out why it's 1-8 first? All right, let's go and find out why it's 1-8 first. So, 1-8 uh, is given to the parents here. 1-8 of, uh, of, uh, of means times, right? I told you that. Of the salary, which is 3,200 is given to the parents. And if you calculate what is 1 8 times 3,002? Yes, it's $400. All right. So $400 is given to the papa, mama. Can? Eh? $400 is given to papa, mama. $600 is given to the car. So what is the remaining? Easy, what? Just take the 3,002 minus the papa, mama, 400 minus the 600. So 3,002 minus 1,000 will give you a what? Ah, so down here, the remaining you can write as 3,200 minus 600, the car renter, and also 400, papa, mama. And that will remain, remain what? 2,200. Is that okay? So you're just listing out the storyline and along the way, you find out more information for yourself. Then look, look at the next clue. What is the next clue talking about? Next clue is trying to say this portion. Okay. Uh, he spent what? One quarter of the remainder on foodie. All right. He spent one quarter of the remainder on foodie. So the remainder down here, you branch out. Branch out from here. One quarter. is spent on foodie. Okay. Eh, if one quarter is spent on foodie, what happened? Oh, there is another three out of four parts. It is what? Left for? Question say. He saved the rest. Wow, very good. Hey, students or children, please uh, start saving from young. All right? Then your money will grow more and more each day. Do save. Don't every time spend everything that you have. Lah, huh? So if your parents give you some pocket money for your lunch and all this, buy a little bit, fill up your stomach, and please save some money. Okay? All right? It's going to be good for your future. I promise you that. I got saved. Good job. Time's up for you. Alright, so the question is talking about what? what fraction of his monthly salary did he spend on his car renter and foodie? Okay, so at this moment, right, the remainder is 2,200. 
can I go and find out how much he spent on the food or not? Right, I can. Why? Because I got so much information. So one out of four parts, right, from the remainder is spent on food. Lah. So one over four from the remainder, which is 2,200, is spent on food. So if I press my calculator again, 2200 divided by four, answer is what? 550. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, many of you writing. 550, 550. Okay, that means you know how to press your calculator. Good job. <laughs> All right, so what 550 is spent on foodie and how much is being saved? All right, so you can simply just take three quarter times 2,200. Okay, and that will be how much? Times 2,200. 1,650. Thank you, thank you. Bernice, uh, Bernice. Yes, 1,650. Good job. All right, so you got so much information. What's there to scare? Just look at the question. Oh, question say they want a fraction, you know. Okay, okay, chill, chill. They want a fraction. They want this fraction, what? Uh? They want the fraction of his monthly salary. Did he spend on his car rental and on food? So you want a fraction. As you know, a fraction means what? Something over something, all right? Fraction means something over something. Duh, it's called a fraction, right? Correct. So what, leh? the focus here, the question say they want what? Car rental and what? and the food, car rental and the food, against the what? Against his monthly salary. What is his monthly salary? All right, so the bottom here is your monthly salary. Can you see? So if they are looking for a fraction, you must know what numbers to put into the fraction. What is the numerator and what is the denominator? Yes, a lot of people say uh, 23 over 64, correct? That is your answer. So can, no. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot unmute you. <laughs> later, la, later maybe. All right. So the car rental is how much? Okay. Car rental is actually $600 plus the foodie. Foodie is how much? 550 All right. Over the what? Over the monthly salary of 3200 Press your calculator now. Come on. All right. Press the fraction key. You all know the fraction key, right? The up and down one. All right, you can press 600 on top plus 550. Press the denominator button, 3200. Bam, answer, 23 over 64. Many of you already got this answer already. And is this the fraction that they want? Yes, this is the fraction that they want. All right, so from the branching method, again, it just lists out the what? It just lists out the storyline. Okay, in the beginning, this happened. Then along the way, something happened. At the end, tuh, 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 this other thing happened again. Can? Yeah? All right, so I will feel that the branching method, it tells you one story throughout. I will like it, okay? So once again, if you can like it, use it, all right? Learn to use it, practice it, and eventually you will be able to understand how to use the forward, and not only the forward, you can use the backwards even. Got, got backwards one. Later, I will check out with you, all right? Later, I will do a question with you. Very, very exciting, okay? Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue with question number three. Okay, let's see. There are sweets, oh, chocolates, and toys in the gift basket. Nice. Two seven, oh no. Two seven of them are sweets. Eh, how? No total. Don't panic, don't panic. Okay, so let me draw something first. Let me try to calm myself down and not to draw something first. Yes, Kevin, you raise your hand. <laughs> Use model, okay. Total is seven. Wow, so many of this. Okay, so Kevin, you raise your hand. What's up? You want to drop me a chat? Okay, I am panicking. Hey, chill lah. Don't panic, all right? Joey, don't panic. Okay, Kevin, anything or not? No? Okay, James, you raise your hand also. So if you raise your hand, you must see something. Huh? <laughs> you just tell me the answer to in 3064, then you raise your hand for what? Okay, uh, this does not have a total. Yes, totally understand. No total, then how? Don't panic. Yes, panic will not help. So let's go and do the question slowly. Huh? Okay, so once again, no total, never mind. Let me draw a little box down here first. Okay, this one, there's no total, it's okay. I still put a total on top. And inside, I call it as one hole. All right, it's like one big unit. Okay, help, no help, no help. Chill, chill. No, no, no scared also. Come on, it's okay. <laughs> is this punching without total? Yes, this is punching without total. <laughs> okay, so you have the total, you don't have the total, that's the problem. Okay, so the question say, two seven of them, 
two seven of them. What is this them? Ah? Alright, what is this them? Ah? Them actually represents the what? The total item. Alright, the total item inside the gift basket. Alright, inside the gift basket. So, from the one hole down here, let me branch out. Two seven from the gift basket, which is the one hole. Alright, this one are considered sweets. Question says that. Then what else? If two out of seven, right, are sweets, eh? What is the other side of the story? What is the other side of the story? Ah, out of seven parts, two are sweets. Yes, very good. Five, seven is the remainder. Thank you so much. Thank you. Five out of seven is the remainder. So again, can you see now? You're listing out the storyline. You're just telling the story from left to right. Ah, here comes, here comes, here comes. Second round, ah. Okay, second round, it says what? Second round, it says that 7, 10 of the remainder are chocolates. 7, 10 is from the remainder, you know. So the remainder down here, branch out. 7, 10, they are chocolates. My favorite. Alright, I'm serious. You see down here, got chocolates. <sighs> Just in case I fall asleep while teaching with you guys. So I need to, yeah, to stay awake. Anyway. Okay, so 7, 10 of the remainders are chocolates and the rest are what? Toys. All right, so 3 out of 10 are considered your toys. Can follow now, up to here. Can I? Uh? Okay, so at this moment, hey, coffee, no. No coffee for little boys like you. All right, okay, maybe a little bit, lah, right? Uh, chocolates makes us happy. I know. Toys also, yes, I know. All right, that makes me happy also. But please, uh, eat in moderation. If not, you'll grow uh, big sideways like, like me. Do you know that in the past two, um, in the past one week, right, I gained like two kgs or not? Huh? In the past one week, because of this COVID-19, staying at home, I gained two kg, you know. Cannot exercise. My goodness. Then keep on eating chocolate. Cannot, man. I tell you, after one month, you will see me um, being uh, double my size. Yeah. That is terrible, right? Okay, shh. Okay, so what happens here? Let's go and like bring the ratio, right? Let's go and bring the fractions to what? To the same level. So once again, like, once again, I want to what? I want to talk a little bit about this. If I want to find the fraction that represents the toys, I'm looking at this particular line out here. Can you see now? The toys, 3 over 10, comes from the 5 over 7. Can you see? The toys, 3 over 10, comes from the 5 over 7. So I need a fraction that represents the original here. All right. If I can link up to the front down here, it would be the best. All right. So I need a fraction that represents the original amount. So remember, how do I get the fraction? This direction is what? I need to learn to multiply. All right. That's the keyword. So down here, right, in terms of my presentation, right, I can actually write it as one, one whole. All right, oops, sorry. I can write it as one whole times what? One whole times the five over seven, which is the remainder times the toys. The toys is three over 10. Okay, so if you use your calculator to times, one times five over seven times three over 10, you will actually get three over 14, what? Units, All right? Three over 14 units. So this three over 14 represents the what? Represents the toys against the total. Do you know that? Yes, that's the toys. Correct. And this one, eh? can we just go and find the chocolate? Let's just do it for fun. Huh? So the chocolate, right? The chocolate is also coming from the where? The chocolate is also coming from the, the total line out here. All right, look at my, um, look at my, this laser bead. All right, chocolate uh, coming from the remainder, coming from the hole. Eh? How come my line missing? Okay, so this 5 over 7 comes from here. Uh. Okay, so what happened is that my laser pointer, can you see? My chocolates come from my remaining, comes from the total. So this particular line, uh, this particular line, my laser pointer, this line. Okay, how can I find the chocolates fraction? Okay, simple again, simple again. Don't panic. Uh. Just simply write 1 times what? 1 times 5 over 7. Okay, 1 times 5 over 7 times... 7 over 10. 
right? From left to right, the fraction just times. Correct, right, Kevin? Correct, one times five over seven times seven and 10. Very good. So if you do that, right, what happened? All right, five over seven, press your calculator lah, times what? Seven over 10, answer is one over two. Is it? You get one over two units. And lastly, right, lastly, there is another fraction here, which is the two over seven, right? This two over seven, let me just write it here. There's nothing to times, all right? If you want, you can say that it's actually one times two over seven, all right? Because the two over seven comes from the where? The two over seven comes from the, uh, the one unit also. Okay, so here. So if you want to say that urge uh, must be consistent, okay, can, can, then one times what? Two over seven, no? That will give you two over seven units. Can you see something? Can you see something? You take your calculator, you try to press the total of these three numbers. Two over seven, one over two units, and three over 14 units. What do you get? Press, ah, uh, two over seven plus one over two plus three over 14. You get a what? You get a one hole. Can you see not? So this portion here will actually give you a one hole. So the story, it becomes very balanced already. What happened? All right. As you can see in the beginning, right, you start off with one hole. At the end, you end off with one hole. Correct or not? Correct. It means that you're on the right track. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. No fear. Can? Okay. So now, how do you make the uh, numbers easier to compare? That's the question here. Okay. So yes, some of you say change the denominator to 14. Correct. Correct. Good job. Good job. All right, that means you can understand this. All right, so this one, right, is already what? Three over, three over 14. Means that a total of 14 units got three units is given to the toys. How about this? Half, right, I can change to what? Times seven, times seven. Whatever you do to the denominator, you must do to the numerator. Is this going to be recorded? Yes, it is going to be recorded. All right. So uh, sometimes if you miss out something, right, yes, you can go back to the YouTube and all this. Uh, there'll be a link in our website and you'll be able to see all these steps again. Can? Yeah. Uh, but the face will not be recorded. Don't worry. All right. The important thing is the lesson here is being recorded. Some of you might need help again. If you think that, uh, yeah, I really don't understand. Okay, go and listen to it again. All right. So we will put this uh, little video up in our website again. All right. Then you'll be linked to some YouTube and all this and it will be, you'll be able to see this video again. Okay. All right. So 7 over 14 is the same as 1 over 2. Eh, how about this one? Can we change one to over 14 also? 7 times 2 is 14. 2 times 2 is 4. Can you see that? So 4 out of 14 units is for the sweets. 7 out of 14 units is for the chocolates. 3 out of 14 units is for the toys. Now you look for the clue. Where is the clue? The clue is here. Alright, the clue is here. There are 15 more chocolates than sweets. Is it true? There are 7 units of chocolates. There are 4 units of sweets. There are 3 units of toys. The clue says 15 more chocolates than sweets. So you compare the chocolates and sweets. Chocolate got 7, sweets got 4. Got how many more? Three more, right? So seven units minus the four units will give you a three units more. So three unit more compared with 15 more. So you're comparing the same item, something more, something more, right? Same, right? So you can see that three units actually represents your 15. Can you see? 15 items, all right? In this case, it's 15 chocolates more. So what is one unit? Eh? Always look for your one unit. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. All right, so your one unit actually represents five items. All right, it can be sweets, it can be chocolates, it can be toys. Look at the question. How many toys are there? Yes, Israel. Answer is 15. Very good. So toys, we are talking about how many units here? Three units. All right. All right, somebody raise their hand again. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. You raise your hand? Yes. Seven units minus three units. I see you. Good job. All right, that will be what? Hey, 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 seven units minus four units, what? Hello, not three units. Right, ah, yeah. Seven units minus four units. Uh, why, ah? 
why 7 units minus 3 units? No, it's 7 units minus 4 units. No, man. 7 minus 4 is 3, what? Why, why, why is it? Why is it? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> All right, as you can see, let's look at on the top. Okay, look at my uh, laser pointer here. Ah, Celeste, your branching method is branching downwards, is it? Possible. All right, that is also called branching also. Yes, you see? Uh, it's either left or right or downwards. Right? Come on, be flexible. All right, so your branching method downwards is nothing wrong. Huh? Don't worry. All right, chill. If you like that method, follow it. And if you can get, keep getting the right answer, please follow it. Nothing wrong with it. All right. All right, to Ahia. Down here, right, do you see something? Can you see the laser pointer? Okay, so down here, right, the four units down here represents the what? It represents the sweets. All right, this part, you should be able to get it right. From 2 over 7, I purposely changed the what? The denominator to a 14. So times 2 for the denominator, my numerator have to times 2. Okay, so 4 over 14 will be your sweets. What does 4 over 14 mean? It means 4 out of your 14 total units are your sweets. What does 7 over 14 mean? It means that 7 out of your 14 total units are chocolate. So I can say that chocolate's got 7 units. I, say, I can say that sweets got 4 units. So what's the difference between chocolates and sweets? 3 units, right? Oh, you get it. Very good. That's very good. All right. Eventually, you need to get it. Huh? All right. No point. I talk, 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 talk to nobody. Then everybody don't get it. Yes, you got it. That is important. All right. So seven units minus four units is the three units. Is There are three units more chocolates than sweets. And look at the question. There are 15 more chocolates than sweets. Are they the same thing? Yes. Three units represents 15. Go and find one unit first. One unit is five items. Items can be what? It can be toys, it can be chocolates, it can be sweets. I don't know. Lah, huh? How many toys are there? Oh, eh, toys is what? Toys is represented by three units. Oh, if toys is represented by three units, right? Eh, then just go and find three units. Lah. Eh, which is this answer? Lah. Oh, yeah, but I didn't know what. So five times three is what? It's back to 15 what? 15 toys. And this will be your answer. Can you see not? All right. Yeah. Yes, I fully understand now. Yes, that's the, that's the feeling, you know. Once you can understand, oh, the feeling is so strong. It's so good. It feels so good, you know. All right. So always try to understand what's happening. All right. Yes, Vernice, 15. Yes, you're right. Smart girl. I think, girl. Yes, right. Yes. Three participants raised their hand. <laughs> All right. Hey, who are? Hey, your raised hand must ask thing, lah. must put into the private chat. All right. Burn, sister. Mm. Oh, Burn sister is Bernice. <laughs> yes, Burn, the one who is very nice is called Bernice. That's my sister. Correct. <laughs> uh, teacher, instead of writing one unit, can I write as one U? Yes. All right. Some of your school allow this one U, like that. One U. It's a short form. All right. But again, it depends on your schools, you know. Sometimes your school teacher, right, they cannot write the word equal, you know. Cannot. It's like percentage, right? They will say like 5%, arrow, 20 pies, something like that. They don't allow you to write the equal sign, correct or not? So again, it really depends on your school. All right. So, sometimes the school right, allows the, the word you, or they want you to spell the word units. You do accordingly. You want to secure your marks, right? Yeah. So for percentage, a lot of them ask to write the arrow instead. Don't write the equal. All right. Next time we'll go into percentage if we have the chance. Okay. Yeah? Hey, this time we are, we are doing fraction. The last lesson, right? Actually, there's, this is our second lesson. Do you know that? All right, this is our second lesson. All right, our first lesson, we, I talked about something called equal concept fraction. All right, but I think some of you missed the lesson. Um, what is that? <laughs> okay, but never mind. From now on, let's not try to miss any more lessons. Lesson three and lesson four, we'll talk a, li a little bit more about ratio. All right, ratio for primary five and primary six, very important. Okay, fraction, ratio, decimal, percentage, the big four. Once you can get it, I tell you. All right, PSLE is very simple. <laughs> All right, let's go on. Okay, this is question what? Question four. Hey, Teyo. Do you know who is Teyo? Ah, you don't, don't know who is Teyo? Hey, you're okay or not? Huh? You all don't watch the, you know, some Korean group dancing? No? Some pretty girls? Okay, never mind. That's not important. Okay, Teyo has some sweet potatoes. Hey, sure. No total. Yeah, no total again. Then how? Draw a box, ah. All right. So, no total, you just draw a box. 
this is like the what? This is like the total. All right, total, and one whole. All right. Yes, you can draw model definitely. All right. However, you know, as I say, can you look at the 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 heading? Problem sums, branching method, right? So I need to use some branching method. All right. If if not, people are not happy, lah. <laughs> All right. So one whole, ah. Uh, what happened here? Four nine of them were eaten on Saturday. So down here, right? Four nine of them were eaten on Saturday. Today is Wednesday, right? It doesn't feel as like Wednesday, you know. Every day feels like a working day. <laughs> no, actually, every day feels like a Saturday or a Sunday. <laughs> because like tomorrow you don't have to work, what? Right? Tomorrow you don't have to go to school, what? Only go, uh, I mean, you'll go for home-based learning and all this stuff. But you're still at home, what? Right? So every day seems like a Sunday, you know. Woo! Anyway, four nine of it is on Saturday. And what happened? One six of the rest. One six of the rest. Eh? What is the rest? Fine lah. So down here, uh, one whole. Four over nine is on Saturday, which means what? Five over nine is on Sunday. No. Five over nine is called the rest. All right. Five over nine is called the rest. So I'm branching out. Uh. Then what's next? What's next? They say one six of the rest. One six of the rest are on Sunday. Uh. So from the rest portion, I need to branch out again. One out of six. For Sunday, right? My favorite day <laughs> because that day got a lot of sun. Uh, not funny. Okay, not funny. So one six is on Sunday, right? Okay, y yours too. <laughs> All right, very good. And what is the opposite? Five out of six is what? Five out of six is considered the the left. Is that okay? This is called the left. All right. Hey, how come I got so many T? Okay. So down here I draw a line, a, like a dividing line there. Then what happened? Oh, she then bought another 87 sweet potatoes. So many sweet potatoes for what? All right. Eat lah. Okay, okay. Can to eat. Uh, I am 25 years old. Are you kidding? Jared? Oh. <laughs> oh. It's okay. 25 is a good age. I'm like quite young also. I'm like... Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not important. Okay, hey, who raised their hand? Ah? Raise hand must ask question inside the chat lah. If not, then I keep on getting distracted. Uh, so, uh, Kevin, you yeah, lower your hand. I can see that. That's good. All right. Hey, Joel, you raise hand. What? You are how many years old? Hey, secret. Cannot tell. All right. I'm actually 25 or so. Okay. No, that's a lie. Okay. I shouldn't be lying on live TV here. Not TV. All right. Uh, I'm past 30 already. I think got 30 something. Uh. <laughs> um, 30 something. <laughs> can I just say 30 something? <laughs> okay. So, what happens here? Uh? Again, right, you got the fraction here. All right, truth or death? No, I choose the death. Okay, so down here, what happened? I have to find out the fraction for individual uh, item here. All right, I have to find out the fraction for individual item here. So let me go and find out the, this portion first. Okay, this particular line. So the 5, 6 left, right, it comes from where? It comes from the 5 over 9, which comes from the 1 whole. Okay? Okay, so let me go and find out the left first. So here I can say it's one again, right? From left to right is a what multiplication, ah? So it's like one unit, ah? One whole times five over nine, times five over six, and what's the fraction now here? Okay, the fraction will be twenty-five over fifty-four. All right, twenty-five over fifty-four. Okay. Can then can we find out the other line, the Sunday one? Sunday it comes from the rest. It comes from the one whole again. So I'm going to write one whole times what? 5 over 9 times 1 over 6. All right. So I'm trying to find the individual fraction. I'm trying to bring the fraction from what? Different levels to the same level so that I can compare fairly. Okay. So 1 times 5 over 9 times 1 over 6 is actually 5 over 54. And this portion here, 5 over 9, uh, I can actually... Yes, work out 1 times 4 over 9, not 5 over 9. 1 times 4 over 9 is 4 over 9. Hey, but you are very hard to compare. Denominator is a 9. The other one, denominator is a 54. So how? You purposely bring the denominator up, all right, so that you can make it to a denominator of 54. 9 times 6, you know this, right? 9 times 6 is 54, right? So times 6, 4 times 6 is a 24 or so. Can you see one thing? All right, if you add up this portion, 
24 over 54, which is 24 lah, plus what? Plus 5, plus another 25, you get 54 or 0.54. This is back to one hole again. Whoa, perfect again. You start off with one hole, you end off with one hole. So everything is accounted for. Hi, hi, hi. Yes, I can see you lah. Hey, hey let's talk math. Huh? Be more serious a bit. Okay? So what is happening? So you can see that 24 out of 54 uh, is eaten on Saturday. All right, 24 out of 54 is eaten on Saturday. Elvin, answer is 162. Uh. Uh, really, meh? Uh, 162, meh? Let me see. Uh. Let me check my answer. Is the answer 162? Okay, let me check. Uh. For your three times 54. Yes. Correct. Wow. I also got 162. Wow. Hey, you're very fast. Eh? Hey, chill, man. Got P5 around. Eh? All right. Answer is 162. Oh, hi, Aaron. <laughs> All right. So, so from 54, right? 54 is like your total units. Huh? 24 is eaten on Saturday. 5 is eaten on Sunday. And 25 is the leftover. Then let's look at the question. After she eat on Saturday, after she ate on Sunday, eh? She go and buy another 87 more sweet potato. Huh? After she buy that 87 sweet potato, what happened? The total goes back to one whole unit again. So this 87 sweet potato represents what? It must represent the amount that she eat, right? She eat 24 on Saturday. She eat 5 on Sunday. So after eating this 29 units, 29 no more. Then she go and buy another 87. Becomes, eh? The total becomes the same again. So you can actually say that this 24 plus this 5, right? This 29 units, right? Okay. Represents the what? It represents the amount that he, he or she, she bought. Alright. So I have my 29 units here. So this 29 units is she buy back. Huh? So 29 units actually represents my Please remember me, Mr. Ong. Yes, of course, I will, Kevin. All right. If you score good results, I'll remember you. <laughs> no, nah, all of you will score good results. All right. PSLE or your Premier 5 exam. All right. Just do your best. Don't worry so much. You can do it one. All right. You know that you can. Okay. So 29 units is 87. Huh? 29 units is such a big number. So frightening. Nothing to fear. Find what is one unit first. So one unit is equal to what? Simply just take your 87 sweet potato divide by 29 and you'll get a very, very, very nice number. Three sweet potatoes. If you can get such a beautiful number, it means that you're on the right track already. Nothing to fear. So now the question is asking, how many sweet potatoes did she have at first? Ah, 54 is the what? 54 is the total, remember? So once you get to this yellow color portion, right? This yellow color, look at the laser pointer. This portion, right? It tells a lot of story, one. Right? Every part of the story is being told here. So 54 is the total. 5 is being eaten on a Sunday. 24 is eaten on a Saturday. Can you see? So now the question asking for 54. Yes, just go and look for your 54 units will do. Alright, so 54 units is equal to? Simply just take 3 times 54. Alright, and many of you say it's 162. Okay, I copy your answer. 162 sweet potatoes. Woo! Another question. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, huh? so that's our question four. Okay, let's go on to question five, shall we? Ah, ha, ha, you got no choice. I'm moving forward. Potato Felix. All right, you like potato? I think so. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look, huh? So rain. Ah, rain is another, uh, you don't know. Eh? Western side of Singapore, is it raining? Alright, just now I got one student telling me that Western side, Clementi area raining. Is it not? Okay, never mind. You're not in the West. I'm staying in the North area. So down here, bright and sunny. Looking very good. Rain, spend $650 on a pair of shoes. Eh, no total. Don't worry, draw a box. Alright, draw a box first. Down here, write total. You don't know how much, just write total. Alright, put one hole inside. Rain spend 650. You're staying in Sigla. Okay. Can can I go toilet, Vernice? Please go. It's okay. <laughs> just go. Alright, just remember to come back. Alright. Just remember to come back. Can? Chop chop. Go. 
So Rain spent six hundred fifty dollars on a pair of shoes. Okay, from the total, right down here, he spent six hundred fifty dollars on a shoe. Okay, then he spent five seven of his remaining money. You know, all right. What is five seven of his remaining? Oh no, one whole. You have to less out your five uh, six hundred fifty. Your one hole, you have to less out your 650. So down here, right? One hole, I purposely call it like one. One what? I call it one hole. All right, one hole minus what? Minus $650. All right, so this amount is what? This amount is called your remainder. Can you see? So I got one hole you need. From this one hole you need, $650 is spent on what? Is spent on the total. Teacher. Burn isn't 650 the total. No, no, no. Read the question. Come on. Read the question. Rain spent 650 on a pair of shoes. They never say that $650 is his salary or $650 is the total or $650 is the saving. The question never say. Question say that he spent $650 on a pair of shoes. It means that you must have a total first. And from this total, you spend $650 of it on a pair of shoes. Can you see or not? It's the difference here. Okay, and what is the what's the what's the remaining? Oh, it's actually the one hole minus the six hundred fifty dollars after you spend a shoe. Hey, he spent what five seven of the remainder. This portion, ah, uh, five seven of the remainder on a on a bag. Hey, the five seven must come from where? It must come from the remainder. Oh, I get it. Very good. I'm glad you get it. All right, this five seven right is from the what remainder? So this five seven is spent on a Back. Eh, what is the other side of the story? Ah, the other side of the story is what? Two out of seven is what you call the left. Can you see? So you are actually again listing out the story from left to right. Lah. And down here, you just draw a line down here. And what did the question say? The question says what? Oh no. He then had one sixth of his original sum of money left. Eh, this one sixth is what? This one six is left. Ah. Left, isn't it here? Yeah. Can you see not? So now they give you a fraction as the final answer, you know. So now, what do you do? Ah, so this is our question. You have to be a little bit careful already. Remember, just now I did say, from left towards your right, right, you do a multiplication. Now you are given the one over six. What do you do? You are going backwards. This is called what? Branching. Backwards. Okay? So your this 1 over 6 is what? 1 over 6 of the original amount of money. Very good. You divide. Smart boy. Alright, so now you're going backwards. Huh? Going forward, you have to times. Going backwards, you divide. That's why I say many times really, mathematics is all about these two directions. You must learn to go forward. You must learn to go backwards. If you go forward, it's like plus. 3 plus 5 is 8. You must learn how to go backwards. 8 Minus 5 is 3. Can you see it now? Yeah? Okay. Uh, some of you that say the answer is 1569A. I think you type wrongly. It's 1560. Yes. Correct. That's the answer. All right. So type properly also. Sometimes if you key into your calculator, you key wrongly, what happened? Hiya. The answer you know is correct, but eventually careless mistake. Huh? So be careful. 1560. Yes, Felix. Good job. All right. So now if you go backwards, huh? go backwards is a divide. Huh? So let's go. 1 over 6 divide by what? 2 over 7. You're going backwards now. It's equal to? Hey, don't know how to divide. Never mind. Press your calculator. Alright, for P6, you learn how to divide already. Alright, so divide, you cannot change. You cannot divide. So you must change to times. And you flip the what? Flip the back fraction. Alright, so 2 over 7 now becomes 7 over 2. Alright, so if you divide, it becomes 7 over 12. So this 7 over 12 belongs to who? Remember, you're going backwards. Huh? Your 7 over child belongs to this person down here. All right, so this person down here is actually your 7 over child. Do you know that? Okay. So if you go backwards, okay, you take 1 over 6 from the corner, divide by 2 over 7, 7 over child, it actually represents your 1 whole minus 650. So you're going backwards. Huh? Okay, so what happens down here? What do you see? You know that 7 over 12 is your... All right, this portion here. Can you pick up something? All right, one hole is here. Seven over 12 is here. Can you tell me what over 12 belongs to the shoe? 
one whole can be written as what? One whole can be written as 12 over 12. Yes, uh, Selly, Selin, yes, flip the back portion. Very good. Okay, so uh, the total, right, one whole can be written as 12 over 12. If 7 over 12 belongs to the bottom, what is on top? It belongs to 5 over 12 belongs to your shoe. Lah. Can you see or not? Can? Because 7 plus 5 is 12. Right? Yeah, one whole is 12 over 12. You can write as that. 7 over 12 belongs to the bottom portion. That means the uh, remainder, 5 over 12 belongs to the shoe. Okay, so once you can see this clue, uh, once you can see this clue, 5 represents your $650. All right, so you can actually write 5 over 12. You can actually rep write 5 over 12 represents what? 5 over 12 units, you can call it. Don't worry about it. All right, it's equal to $650. Can I go and find 1 over 12 of the units? 1 over 12 of the units? Ah, ask yourself. Uh, 5 units is 650. 1 unit leh? Divide by 5. So you just write 650 divided by 5 here. And if you do that, 650 divided by 5 is a 130. You get 130. Okay. So 1 unit is 130. You're looking for what? How much money did Rain have at first? Rain have what? 12 over 12, right? 12 over 12 means you're looking for 12 units here. 12 over 12 units, which represents what? One whole. Lah. This is actually your one whole, right? So 12 over 12 units simply just take 130 times 12, which will be equal to 1560. Yes, thank you, Elvin. And this is your answer? Yes, Bernice, welcome back. <laughs> so 1560, you still can catch up after you come back. Great job. Okay, so again, can you see not? Going forward, going backwards, times Divide. Oh, yo, math. It's just like that. Plus, minus, la. times, divide. La. Okay or not? Okay, ah? Okay, let's go on to question six. All right. So, uh, Ji Ming. Ji Ming gave 310 of the salary to his wife and paid 960 of uh, 960 for the household bill. All right. Once again, oh, yeah, I've got no total again. Okay, so much. No la. We got so much. 960 is for the household bill. Can, yeah, I mean. BTS. <laughs> hey, very good. Somebody knows. Okay. So down here, we have a box down here. This is like the total. We don't know the total. We write this as one whole. All right. I, I haven't finished writing on question five. Okay. Can, can you take a picture quickly? <laughs> okay. If you can, uh, why P BTS? Uh, um, uh, I don't know, just uh, sometimes just Google, just thinking of names and all this. I chill, man. Hey, can you take a picture now quickly? <laughs> take a picture, then later, then write it down. If not, then go for the re recorded uh, because we'll be putting this um, recording up on the YouTube again. All right, then you can view the lesson again and again. All right, hey, Celeste, relax. Okay, next time I choose somebody that you like, okay? So who do you like? <laughs> okay, hey, I'm trying to buy time uh, for the, 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 the who to copy. Uh. All right, I don't know who it is. Okay, anyway, let's move on to question six. All right, so Ji Ming uh, used three ten of the salary to give to the wife. All right, so one whole, right? Inside the one whole, three out of ten is given to the wifey. Okay, and not only that, he paid $960 for the bills. From the total, $960 goes to the bills, the household bills. Okay, after he gave Three-fifth of the remaining salary to the five children. Okay, okay. But wait, let me go and find the what? Let me go and find the remainder first. So, one whole, three out of ten is given to what? Three out of ten is given to the wife. 960 is given to the bills. What is the remaining? The remaining will be your what? This one you need to be able to see. Seven over ten minus 960. Can you see that? All right, can you see that? That will be your remaining. Okay. So if you can see this, that will be perfect. Huh? So this one is like your 3 over 10 units. This is like your 7 over 10 units. Okay. So in terms of model, right, if you cannot see, I'm going to draw a short model for you. This is like your model. All right. On top. Huh? So you are going to cut it into what? 10 parts. Huh? All right. So cut it into 10 parts because given to the wife, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 3 out of 10 parts is given to the wife. 1, 2, 
three. This part is given to the wife. Wife, ah, W is for wife. And nine hundred sixty dollars. How much is nine hundred sixty? I don't know. I don't know. So let me just anyhow put lah. Maybe down here. Anywhere ah, like that. I draw a circle. Anyhow put lah. This is what nine hundred sixty. Okay. And where is the rest? The rest is represented by down here. From here to here is called the rest. Can you see that? All right. So that's called the rest. Ah. Eh, but how do you represent the rest in terms of a unit? How do you represent the rest as a unit? So 3 out of 10 is given to the wife. This portion to this portion is considered your 7 over 10, right? 7 over 10 units. So simply the rest is looking at the model on top. 7 over 10 units minus 960. La. That's considered the rest, la, which is called the remainder. Can you see or not? Looking at my units on my top left, you should be able to see. Okay? Yes. Wow. This person very fast. Answer is 4,800. My goodness. Okay. So, let's continue with the question here. Okay? This question says that what? After he gave three-fifths of the remaining salary. So, the three-fifths come from where? The three-fifths come from the remaining. So, down here come out. Huh? Down here comes out is three-fifths. And this one is given to the children. Can? Okay. And what is the other side? The other side is two-fifth. Two-fifth is the, the left. Then the question say what? Down here you draw a line. Question says that he had one-fifth of his salary. You know? This one-fifth is talking about the original salary. It's one-fifth of his original. One-fifth of his total. Which means that down here, right? I can just write a one-fifth. Hey. Eh? What you do, ah? Remember from left to right, you type right. Final answer is 4003. Something is wrong. Okay, later let me go through with you. Can? Answer is 4008. Bernice, good job. Bernice, sorry. All right, so one fifth ah, is the what? The left. Hey, so how? You have the final answer. Now you have to learn to go backwards. So down here, let's go backwards. One over five, divide. All right, divide by two over five. All right, you flip the back side, ah. So, divide change to times, 2 over 5 becomes 5 over 2, and this will become 1 over 2. That means this 1 over 2 is down here. Remaining is 1 over 2. This portion is 1 over 2. Can you see now? The 1 over 2 represents here. Eh? Which means what? Huh? Right, which means what? Huh? That means down here, one hole, right? One hole can be written as 2 over 2 units. Right, one hole can be written as two over two units. One over two units is the remainder, which means that the top portion down here is your what? Your top portion down here is your remaining one over two units also. Can you see? All right, so one over two units plus one over two units is two over two. Right? All right, is B288? Wow, hey, you don't stress me. Lah. Yes, B is 288. Okay, B is 288. Just to uh, give it to those who had. Uh, done it earlier, faster. Alright? So, after you get that clue, right, 1 over 2 units is what? It's from the wife and the 960 bills. You can actually write this out. Okay? So, I will be writing on my uh, right hand, oops. I'll be writing on my right hand side a little bit here. Okay? So, down here, I can say that uh, I can say, oh, oh sorry. Uh, where's my question A? This is bad. No, no, no. Okay, sorry. Okay, so down here, I can say that my half unit, half unit, right, actually represents my what? This portion, huh? This half unit actually represents my, okay, it actually represents my 3 over 10 unit to my wife, not my wife, huh? And also the $960. Can? Hey, but over 10 and over 2, very hard to compare. Okay, correct. So what you do? You change the half unit to 5 over 10 units. Easier to compare now? 3 over 10 units plus 960. Ah, okay. So now what you see? Okay, on the left, right, got 5 unit. On the right down here, only got 3 unit. Eh? So this portion, how do I balance it? What is the fraction represented by 960? Can you see that down here you must have a 2 over 10? Cannot. 
Because 3 plus 2 will give you a what? 3 plus 2 will eventually give you a 5 what? Right? 3 plus 2 will give you a 5. So your 960, right, must represent a fraction. What is the fraction? It's actually 2 over 10. So 2 over 10 units, right, actually represents your 960. Go and find your 1 over 10 unit first. All right? Yeah, I know some of you are chatting. Wait, huh? don't worry. Give me some time. All right, so 2 units is 960. How to find 1 unit? Leh? 960 divided by 2. That will give you a 480. Remember what the question wants? The question wants the full salary. The full salary is, yes, the 10 out of 10, right? 10 out of 10, right? Which is the one hole here. So 10 out of 10 will be simply, you take 480 times 10. That will give you a $4,800. Yeah, I got it. You got it? Okay, $4,800, yes. Hey, not 480. 480 is only one unit. Oh, yes. Cor Corey, yes. Okay. Uh, which part you didn't get it? Right, right car? Okay. Uh, this part on the right hand side, right? This uh, uh the part on 5 over 10. Okay. You see how uh, you know what's the meaning of equal sign? You know what's the meaning of equal sign? Equal sign simply means that your left hand side must balance your right hand side. That's the meaning of uh, equal sign. All right, so the left and the right must balance. Okay, so if on the left is 5 over 10, your right hand side must be also 5 over 10. But here you are given only 3 over 10. So what is the remaining? What's the short? The short is the 2 over 10. No? So your 2 over 10 must come from where? It must come from the $960. If not, it will not balance. Right? So 2 over 10 is equal to 960. Go and find 1 over 10 first. Always look for 1 unit, right? Then after that, go and find your 10 over 10, which represents 1 whole. Isn't that what the question is looking for? Okay. Yes, you get it. Yes, good job again. Good job. All right. If, important thing is you need to get it. Lah. All right. Okay, so uh, let's go on to question 6B. That will be the last question. All right. Why is that the last question? All right, question seven will be your homework. Lah. Can? And if you can try question seven, use it as a what? Use, it, use the branching method to try to solve. All right, let's go on to question 6B first. Okay, one question is homework for you to try. How to do our homework? <laughs> Just do on the, the question. You, you must go and print out the question first. All right, the question is with the link, right? So once you bring out the, uh, you, when you, once you see the, the live lesson, when is it and all this, there's this thing called prerequisite, all right? So you're supposed to print out the worksheet. And the questions, right, question one to seven is on the worksheet. So question seven will be on the, the question. Uh. <laughs> How to answer your question, all right? Uh, I thought we were supposed to do everything before this lesson. Oh, all right. Uh, actually, some of you, you managed to finish the questions. All right, you managed to do finish everything before this lesson. That's good. All right, you, that means you're practicing on your own. All right, then you come for this lesson to see whether your answer is correct or not. That is very, very good. Huh? But there are some students who actually don't know what is branching method. So they are coming here with a very fresh mind. All right, so those coming in with a fresh mind, I want to teach them from start the, the meaning of branching method and all this. Okay? All right, so don't worry. Later, I will give you the answer. All right, for those who have attempted question seven. All right, I'll give you the final answer. Then you check whether your work is it correct or not. All right, and I will go through the question seven, one question only in our next lesson. All right, just a catch up on what is branching and all this. All right, so let's go and talk a little bit, a little bit about the what? Hey, don't spam me, leh, Jerry. You spam me some more next time. I don't want to private chat you already. <laughs> all right, so what happened? Now we have to find a, find the amount of money each of his children receive. Huh? All right, so down here, what do you have? For part A, right, we have all the information down here. Okay, we know the total already. The total is 4,800. Once we know the total 4,800, ayo, a lot of things we can do. Can? So let's use the total 4,800 uh, to answer the children portion. Okay? So now uh, we have the total. Uh, when is the next lesson? Uh? Uh, what do you think? Today is what? Wednesday, right? So the next lesson is? Should be the same timing, lah, huh? 
but no promises. Go and check your email. Go and check our website. Our website will say when is the next lesson. Cool. All right. So now I know the total already. Hey, I need to finish this. 4,800. All right. So 4,800 is our total. I got it. How come? Because part A, I found already. Okay. And the question did say what? 310 of it is given to the Y fee. So 310 of it means 310 times 4,008 is given to the wife. Okay, I can even find how much is given to the wife. 3 over 10 times 4,008. 1,440 1, is given to the wife. Alright, so once I have the total, oh, everything can do one. Alright, no, no, no. Tomorrow is not the next lesson. <laughs> the next lesson will be next Wednesday, I think. Alright, the same timing, I think so. All right, go and check. Go and check on the website. Okay? And what happened? And we know that $960 is given to the, is given to the household bill. So what is the remaining? Huh? Ah, the remaining, right? You can find already. As I say, once you have the total, you can do a lot of things. 4,800 minus 1,440 minus away 960. And you are left with? 4,800 minus 1,440 minus 960. 2,400. That will be your remaining. And, and what did the question say? The question say that how many of it is given to the children? Three fifth. Ah, three fifth. So down here, ah, three fifth of the 2,400 is given to the children. All right, this one is given to the children. That means it's 1,440 is given to the who? The five children. Wow, I got five children. My goodness. Children's are a blessing, really. All right. You are a blessing to your parents, just to let you know. All right. You are. So, 1,440 is given to the five children. You're looking for one child, right? So, very easy. 1,440 divided by five. That will be how much? Some of you already get the answer, right? 288. Hey, 288, not 576. Come in. Yeah, 2 8, correct. So one child received 2 8. So can you see now? The total, if you can get a total, you can do a lot, a lot of things, right? And if you can understand this branching method, right, it can actually show you the story at different stages. All right, what happened, uh, how to find, uh, when to use the times, uh, when to use the divide, careless mistake. Yes, Kevin, be careful. All right, because careless mistake is a, is a very painful thing. You know how to do, but eventually, what? You lost marks because of carelessness. So be careful, check your work. All right, Bernice, yes, thank you. To A is correct. Okay? All right, so if you need to copy quickly, copy or, or quick what? Or quick take a picture. All right, take a picture. All right, to write down the answer. Okay? If you cannot catch up, don't worry. Don't worry, you cannot catch up. As I say that this recording, right, will be shown in our uh, website and it will link you to maybe a YouTube channel. Then you can watch this video again and again. All right, there are some students who are a little bit faster. There are some students who are a little bit slower, but it's okay, come on, it's okay. All right, that's the reason why we are here. All right, ADA Tuition, we are here so that you can what? You are able to learn at your own pace. Remember that. All right, you can watch the video, you can watch all this recording at any time of the day. All right, you know, it's like selling you a product like that. All right, you know the, 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 the use of this, uh, this service here. All right, so if you cannot catch up, don't worry. All right, uh, go and watch the video a few more times. All right, go and watch the video a few more times and slowly you will get it. Okay, so don't worry, Aaron, you will, keep, you will, you will, keep, you will catch up. Okay. I believe in you. Uh, why is tuition called 88 tuition? <laughs> um, this one, uh, I don't know, uh, Celine. I don't know. Uh. All right, this one, you have to talk to my boss. <laughs> um, can you see this logo or not? At the corner, do you see this logo? All right, 888. You know why this logo is so special or not? All right, just know that one of them, right, is you. And the other one is the teachers. We are always walking beside you. All right, we will always be there for you. Side by side, we will try to solve all the problems, as many problems with you as possible. Can okay? 99 not nice, lah. 88. Can you see not? This one looks like a, a figure, right? a, a person's head and a person's body. All right. For, for me, my body is a bit bigger, lah. This is my body, lah. Yeah. So the logo, interesting, right? Ah, the student and the teacher, we walk side by side to solve problems. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, anyway, question seven. As I say, this will be your homework, right? Okay, some of you already done the homework already. Good job for you. Okay, good job. Can I just give you the answer? 
All right, I want to do this question the first thing on the next lesson. All right, the answer is actually $312. You can write this down, $312. Okay, so this will be your homework. Yeah, the logo is shaped like 88. Yeah, it's just like two person, right? Yeah, one of them is you, one of them is me, or maybe with teacher Indra, or maybe with teacher Ali. Yes, we will be always side by side, walking with you, trying to uh, bring you to uh, you know, a different height. I got all correct. Woo, Felix. Good job. All right. Uh, have homework. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. One question. Come on, just one question. All right. All right. So, 312 is the answer for question seven. Just take a note of it. Try using branching method. That's a challenge to you. Try using branching. Okay? Okay. Different height as in higher or lower. Obviously, higher. La. All right. Education is to keep on what? Try to bring uh, more, more knowledge to you and all this. Obviously, try to bring you to a higher ground. Uh, there was one science video where you were the teacher, right? The circuit one. Uh, I think so. <laughs> I forgot already. I recorded so many videos until, oh, stress, man. Yes, I can teach a little bit of primary school time. Just a little bit. All right, but Dr. Ali, whoa, that is the much more uh, professional one. Yeah? Okay, so this is the last page already. If you have any math question, right, can you please take note of the number below? Do you see that? Call me at 8933-0213. 8933-0213. Like advertisement like that. <laughs> okay? So, if you have any uh, math question, hey, please, uh, math question only. Uh, you can actually WhatsApp that number, 8933-0213. So, if you've got time, right, I will try to type it out, your question. And during the next lesson, actually, I will. All right? If it's relevant, must be relevant, huh? So I'll bring it out and I'll go through the particular question with you. Okay? So please take note of the number. Is that your real number? The Hello, this is live, you know. Why would I be lying to you, Celeste? <laughs> Alright. So you can uh, WhatsApp that number, 89330213. Can If you have any math question, as I say, emphasize a lot of times with the math question. Can? Okay? No, that's the math hotline. Alright? 89330213 is the math hotline. And it's directly to me. Yes, burn on here. Can? All right, if you have a question, Celine, yes, just uh, take a picture and send it to that number. Can? Hey, please take a clear picture. You know, give me some blur, blur one there, how to read. Can? Okay, so uh, that's it for today's lesson. Hey, thank you all for actually staying through this one and a half hours. Yes, it has been one and a half hours. All right, good job. All right, it's not, very, it's not easy to last through one and a half hours with me. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, uh, if you have time and all this, for those in P5, right, you can actually go to the what? Go to our ADA tuition, okay? And you can actually, if you want to practice more questions, look for lesson 15 and 16. There's a lot of fraction questions down there. There's some extra math questions down there. Go and practice lesson 15 and 16. All right, for those P6, you can actually go to lesson 6 and 7. Right, so these are more practice questions for you regarding fractions and regarding the things that we have learned. Cool. All right, and that's it. I'll see you in our next lesson. As I say, if you have anything, right, you can actually math question, take a picture, send it to the WhatsApp. All right, all right, huh? all right. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Should be next Wednesday, lah. Okay, and we should be focusing on something else. I think it's ratio. Okay, ratio fraction. Ah, uh, all this cannot run away. One sure will come out one. Huh? Alright, so I'll see you in our next lesson. In the meantime, stay safe. Put on your mask when you, when you go out, okay? And please, please, if you don't have to go out, stay at home. Huh? Alright, so see you next time. Yes, be good. Don't be naughty. Bye-bye. <laughs>